All right, guys, I'm back, and I got my blaster this time, all right? Um, those fat packs were pretty straight, man. I like them. Uh, I want to get some more. Um, I'd like to get my hands on a whole, like, a sealed box of them, because I think anytime I've gotten, a, like, a whole, the whole display or the whole box, the case of fat packs, I've usually done pretty good with those. I, mean, I don't know if they're not really guaranteeing you anything in it, but... I don't know. I've been lucky with them, and I'm definitely looking to get pick up one of those. Um, I think we landed like 11 rookie cards with three parallels out of that, three fat packs, so it's not bad at all, and some of the rookies that we wanted to. All right, so let's get into this blaster. And the fat packs were $5.98 a piece. So if you're looking online, I see these boxes, they're like... I think the cheapest I've seen them was like $95 for the whole case of fat packs. Uh, it's 12 of them, so let's say 6 bucks a piece. So it's 60, 72 bucks. So you're paying $23 for the convenience of not leaving your home. That's not too bad. That's not really too much of a markup. I wouldn't do any more than that, really. Because you probably won't get your money back out of it. <laughs> How many packs were in this blaster? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wow. Damn. 11 packs for 20 bucks. Any cards with 88 cards? Hmm. I'll keep finding these blasters, huh? They don't, my store only got like five of them in this morning. My local store. And... Corbin. Mike Trout. Greg Maddox. Here we go. I didn't get one of these in the fat packs. It's an Elite Series. Zach Gallen. Looks like that's probably the uh, Hollow version as well Jonathan Papelbaum and that's a foil as well so that's cool ah. and another Dominators I think I'm going to have this whole set and a Raider rookie Bobby Dalbeck you didn't see that fat pack video uh, eh you pulled uh, two Dylan Carlson's, uh, Alec Bohm. The parallels weren't anybody that I, I was really too familiar with. One of my tribe guys. There's a Barry Larkin. And we got a, uh-oh, uh-oh. Now I hate when they do this. And it's nothing. So you... Tops does that to me, you know what I mean? You guys can't be doing this to me. Okay, let's see what this is. It's not numbered unless they numbered on the front. I don't know. Oh, it's a purple. Okay. Well, I was thinking it was going to be an auto or something. You know. My dumbass. Okay, but that's a Joe Adele. You know, some people aren't that high on him right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know a lot about the guy. I haven't seen much of him, to be honest with you. He's from the wrong wrong part of Ohio, as far as I'm concerned. He's playing for the wrong part of Ohio. <laughs> but we will sleeve and top load it up because he is a well-known rated rookie, and that's a nice parallel. Must be in good shape. We'll keep it that way. Jacob the Groom, and another one of these. Man, I got a lot of those. How many is in that set for the Diamond Kings? Oh, I see the last one, Aaron Judge. Lucas. Man, I got this dude in my fantasy. One of my fantasy teams. He got lit up opening day. I lit up, but he got hit. Everybody gets hit, right? Sooner or later, Sammy. 
as a big head Sammy unleashed Raphael Devers and here we go purple Josh Bell it's a nice looking card I like it. I like those cards. They look pretty smooth. Sixto Sanchez for the Dol for the Marlins. Almost said Dolphins. I think the Marlins always getting pitchers out there, you know man. Always getting some good pitchers in Miami. Clayton Kershaw speaking of good pitchers. Kluber speaking of good pitchers. Smith, Randy Johnson. This is a good pitcher. See, you start talking about something, man. It starts rolling in. Goldschmidt, man. Don't waste my purple on Goldschmidt. Good player, though. Babe Roof, baby Roof. With the highlights. Is it a short print or anything, boys? I don't know. We'll guess no. We'll look it up later. See if it's a short print or something. Babe should be a short print. Should be just throwing fucking Babe Ruth's cards in packs. You know what I mean? Just give him Babe Ruth. We'll love it. No, you don't do that. You just, the Babe Ruth card got to mean something. Man, why do they keep making me spend these? Guys, guys. Mr. Anderson. Uh oh, uh oh, here we go. It's a Diamond King. Joey Gallo is the purple. Pretty nice looking card. Jake Crownworth. Is he starting to starting to? Uh, did he make the uh, squad? I think he did. I don't know if he's starting or not, if he's coming off the bench. George Springer. These have gone pretty much about what I thought they would. You know, a few Raider rookies here and there, you know, the little parallels with the on the base cards, you know, but nothing, nothing big, you know, that's probably, that's about what I expected out of these, nice set though, but nothing, you're not going to get really anything really big, the best you can hope for is when you get one of your favorite rookies on one of these special cards, Mike Trout, Diamond King, Braylon, Braylon Marquez, Chicago, I'm not familiar with him, Put a lot of packs in this blaster, man. Kind of like the same thing they do with the Don Rush Racing. They kill you with volume. They give you a lot of stuff. A lot of cool inserts, a lot of cool parallels. So it's a cool product. So all you resellers out there are buying it up. I'm a flipper too, okay? I resell. If you're selling, if you're doing cards for, if you're in the card hobby, you're probably a flipper. You know, and uh, quit buying them because these things ain't, you ain't making no money off them. You're just making it difficult on hobbyists that want to rip them. Here goes a Pedro Parallel. Pedro Parallel. Shane Bieber. Oh, there's a tribe time. Mike Yerzinski. Like I said, I've seen the blasters on eBay for twenty nine ninety nine. I may, I may even pick another one up. To be honest with you, maybe two of them. If somebody's got two of them on there for twenty nine ninety nine free ship. Save me the headache, running around looking for them. Yeah, I could see it. I pay for that. I pay twenty nine ninety nine for that because I know you ain't making nothing. At the end of the day, after the fees and the shipping. There we go. What's that? 
for Ricky Henderson. Is that who that is? 1,406 career steals. Yep, Ricky Henderson. See some nice cards, man. Got them parallels in there. The Pedro, the Ricky Henderson. Ian Anderson, nice rated rookie. Javier Baez. Only thing is with those NASCAR ones, I always end up getting pretty lucky. I get a, uh, an auto or a patch or something. Even out of the fat packs. I got fours. I'm going to do after this in another video. So I'll put it to the test. See whether I get them or not. Wade Boogs. What is this? Trending. I haven't seen these before. Now that's a nice looking card right there. Vladimir Guerrero, trending. Hmm. I'm going to sleeve that bad boy up. I'm not familiar with it. And it looks really nice. Look at that the tint to it. Like that blue tint on that chrome. Nice card. Nolan Arneda, Nato. Bartolo. Just two packs left. As far as I'm aware, I haven't hit anything. Great. That trending looks like it might be something, though. I think it's a that's pretty nice card, but that wouldn't surprise me. To have that one be like a harder pull insert. Brian Anderson. Makes me want to watch The Matrix. Seeing these Andersons all. I don't know what I think about it like that. Because I watched the John Wick series recently probably. There's a Trout Parallel. Another nice card. Nothing special. Just another nice card. That's like the definition of this set. Dalton Vershaw got his parallel earlier. Jordan Alvarez base. Got one pack of these left. Let's get a Mount Castle. Or another bone. You never have too many bones. Kevin Vigio. Paul Goldschmidt. Pedro. There's that Stars and Stripes, I guess. Red, white, and blue one. David Fletcher. Hmm. I'm going to say Burt Reynolds for a second there. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds, otherwise known as Deadpool. And a Joe Adele, rated rookie. Pico de Gallo. All right, guys, that's it for this stuff right here. So one blaster and three fat packs got me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Got me eighteen rookie cards, so not bad. I think I had a ten or eleven going into the blaster. Which means I got seven or eight out of the blaster. So we'll say three out of each fat pack and about eight out of the blaster. So it's not bad. I mean, pretty good value there. Um, they give you so much stuff, man. That's what this set's all about. It's, I don't think there's anything like really outstanding there. Um, here's the regular base stack I got right here. All right. And where do you see the inserts, man? Just out of this little bit. There's the uh, 87s. Look at that. Oh no, I got a few other base ones mixed in there. Not a good job, bad job sorting by me. And here's this set right here, this insert set. It's kind of like the Race King set. Reminds me a little bit, the Diamond Kings. Look at that. A whole bunch of those. And then you got these Unleashed, 
which these are pretty nice too. Got the Boba Shet there unleashed, the Mookie Betts parallel, Ichiro, Big Sexy, Jose Abreu, Aaron Judge, Pink, Tatiste, and Clayton Kershaw Red. Oh, that was more Elite Unleashed Devers. Then the Elite Series. If this is like the um, NASCAR, then I don't think the Elite Series is like that tough of a pool, but it's not one of the easier ones either. Does that make sense? It's not like, oh my god, you got an Elite, but it's like, all right, well, you got an Elite, you know. Except for a NASCAR, they're not worth anything. Not the most people, anyway. And this one right here, I really want to do look it up and see what this is. Trending, I don't know. Guys, I don't think you really want to see here and listen to me try to figure this out because my eyes are crap. And I'll have to call on one of the boys to read that for me. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, that's it for this one. Um, bye for now, and off to the next. Later.